Hi there and welcome to another how-to Photoshop video. This time we're looking at a Canadian artist called Amy Friend and she produces these beautiful pictures with um, flecks of light that shine through. I'll show you some of her work to explain what we're going to be doing. Um, what she does, she takes old photographs, she gets a pin, she pokes holes in them and thus shines a light through to create these um, memory photographs where the light represents maybe the lost souls of the people in the pictures not really sure exactly, but they're really, really um, moving and really, really exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at turning a regular photo into a sort of sepia effect photo and then adding some flecks of light to it using Photoshop. Okay, so there's one I did earlier. And this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so we start with the original picture. You can see there's a person on the beach with a child and clouds, etc. in the sky. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it black and white and click OK. Then we're going to make some adjustments to the brightness and contrast to give it some more brightness and contrast. And then we're also going to make some adjustments to the levels and you can see this is how much of each color there, how much of each darkness there is. So we'll move these around to give a really good, strong contrasty feel to the picture. Okay. Once we've done that, we're happy with it. We can then start to create a sepia layer. There's many different ways of doing this, but for today I'll show you the really, really simple way to create a new layer. It's currently blank. We're going to get a paint bucket. We're going to find a color over here or down here depending where you like to choose your colors we want an old-fashioned sepia color so somewhere in this band of colors here okay what we're going to do we're going to fill this blank layer so the whole picture will disappear and then we're going to keep it super simple we're just going to change the opacity of this layer slightly so we can get that sort of faded old-fashioned look coming through so it now instantly looks like a much more old fashioned image. Then we're going to create another new layer down here next to the dustbin, the new layer tab. We're going to select some bright white and we're going to use the paintbrush this time. We're going to have a very small paintbrush and then we are going to add little flecks of light. We're going to make sure that we can see them okay, so it's slightly bigger. Uh, maybe even a few bigger ones than that, slightly. And then we're going to create a virtual pinpricks around certain areas of the picture to accentuate where the light's going to come through. Okay. I find it quite useful to follow the edge of the figure. Maybe pick on key areas like along the edge of the wall in the background. Maybe a few on the wall along here, like so. Maybe a few around here on the young child. And the great thing about doing Amy Friend responses is you can really go to town and really experiment with where you are going to place your highlighted dots. Now once we've done a whole variety of small ones, what then works really well is to change the size of the brush again and go slightly bigger this time. And a few bigger ones. And you can see already they look like they're much brighter where they are shining free. Okay. And then just to add that extra level of awesomeness to the picture, what I like to do is I'll just do a few more while we're thinking. Add a few add a lens flare. So we're gonna to go to filter. We're gonna look for stylize and we're gonna look or we're going to look for other. No, we aren't. 
we're going to look in render that's it where's my memory going lens flare now we're going to put this on cancel that we're going to put it onto the background layer we're going to go filter render lens flare and we're going to add that to where the light is showing through so it looks like there's a candle behind the image click ok and you will then see on the actual image it gives that impression of a light shining through from the other part of the image so if we look back at the artist's work you can see that kind of lens flare effect that she has going on here where the light comes through and that is how you make an alien friend response thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this how-to video and have fun experimenting with making amy friend style responses okay thank you very much for watching